Did you sign that petition I sent you, by the way, Nick? I sure did. He signed it a million times. Oh, yes. Shia LaBeouf as Moon Knight. I, I, I think this, uh, you know, mail call could have used a little more Moon Knight. <laughs> I'd oh, give you a full yeah. moon if you like. <laughs> <laughs> Champions! <laughs> Oh my God! So tell, so Alonzo, explain more about Champions, man, and why that's a that's a big one. Because I've been seeing on other channels too. So yeah, okay. So this is one of the things that I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about later, but I guess we're going to talk about it now. So um, with Champions, again, you have like half, if not all, of the characters already going to be in the Marvel universe. So, I mean, it would be easy just to kind of put them together and say, okay, here, these are your champions. These are the uh, legacy um, legacy Marvel characters. I mean, you got Kamala Khan, you have um, um, Miles Morales that's here already. One of the things that I'm kind of looking for also is Viv Vision. So I am trying to find those books big time. Uh, and she makes her first appearance in Vision 1, which is that limited series by uh, Tom King. It's a great run. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the complexities of, of Vision. So I'm really looking at that like hard. Um, we're talking about the hip hop cover, uh, the um, um, one in 20, and I think there's also one in 25. Those are the things that I would be looking for because They've already kind of talked about Viv making her first appearance in the in WandaVision, which should be coming up either later this year or early next year. Uh, and again, they've already kind of talked and mentioned about it that she might or she may appear as a character in that series, which means again, you have another character that's part of Champions. And also Nick had also mentioned about Amadeus Cho and how easy it would be for him to kind of fit in the Marvel Universe that we might have seen him in one of the movies too, like off in the background. Another character that can be part of the Champions. So that's why I'm kind of just putting two and two together. I know Young Avengers is something that would be easy to do, kind of what we talked about before because of name recognition. But I think Champions, you have all the makings of Champions right now. Mm -hmm. So again, that would be an easy thing to do for Marvel to do is because they have all these characters well and i think you were right last time when you mentioned with young avengers the name they may just go okay we won't use champions we'll use young avengers and bring them in that way because really the cast for young avengers i mean you've got wanda's twins which they may may or may not bring in who knows you've got patriot that i don't think they would bring in Oh, I don't it would think... be so cool, though, right? No, like, Patriot would be a great Bradley, character. Bradley, like, so, like, side story on Disney+. Plus. No, that'd be great, but, I mean, the problem is he's got baggage. The twins got baggage. Um, Iron Lad has baggage because he ends up becoming Kang. Yeah, All this the stuff part. that they haven't done anything with, where they can bring in Kamala Khan, and they can bring in Riri and go, hey, they're the new character, these new characters. They could switch out Viv for um, the twins, and that would make a lot of sense because then you can just go, okay, it's the same thing. Um, the only thing is, I don't know if they would change Hulkling out with the current scroll thing for um, Amon or Amadeus Cho. I think Hulkling is too high of a profile right now, but who knows? That's assuming that they're like, oh yeah, the comics people people read those things. Well, I'm thinking <laughs> with, I'm thinking with the whole. I still think Captain Marvel is going to go, just big into Kree, and Scroll. So I think you're going to get your Secret War or Secret Empire, and you're going to get your. Uh, oh, we lost Rob. Uh, your Secret Empire and the other one out of the uh, Kree, Scroll War out of there. So, who knows? I can see Hulkling showing up on, in that. And, and then, too, like, to, to just kind of muddy the waters, 
you also there was news too that Haley Steinfeld's gonna be Kate Bishop. Yep. So again, you you have this like crazy mix of young Avengers and champions that kind of are available to Marvel. So I mean, you know, right now the young of young Avengers books they're kind of priced a lot higher right now because of that spec because people are looking at like okay Kate Bishop first appearance we know she's going to be in in Hawkeye uh so that book I mean um and I think like Ian Ian has a copy as well of Young Avengers that Wizard World and I think JR has a copy of that as well yeah uh and that book is a one to one to get and it's really really super high I mean you're talking about a thousand dollars for that book uh whereas champions champions is it's it's a lot it's a lot lower like significantly lower um but again you have these characters that are that are ready that are right there so uh, i'm kind of leaning towards that as a kind of like a nice inexpensive way to kind of get in nice hedge too yeah yeah and make sure you're getting the right champions too because there is a Champions of the 80s with yeah. Iceman and That's right. and Hercules and, and, and Angel and Beast and I think Those Black are cool Widow books too though. They are. They are. They are. I'm, I'm, I'm are. not I'm not bashing them, but I'm just <laughs> and saying like, Moon Dragons Those... in there. I mean, oh, no. I, I, no. I I agree. I love that stuff, but I'm just saying watch out cuz those aren't going to go up. You want to get the current champions that they did. I mean, but hold on. Look at look at that cast, right? So, uh, Ghost Rider, yeah, Black Widow, Hercules. It's not that we would be that far off of of a of a champions of that kind either. Okay, you know? so we got Nicolas Cage. What I'm saying is, if we you got that The book, Rock. So also, also buy that book. Buy them both. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But how how great a movie would that be? Nicolas Cage, The Rock. Whoever you want is Black Widow, the new Scarlet yellow hair. Yeah. I mean, it. what Scarlet Joe, but it's going to be that new girl. No, but this Yelena. is back in the day, right? Like, this is a, you no, know, I'm her talking about right now. the Academy. She, she was part of a group yeah. called the Champions, you know? But I mean, I just think that, Fanfic. I just want to see The Rock and Nicolas Cage act together. You want him to be Hercules, that, The Rock? Yeah. That would be awesome. That would be. Well, he's not going to be Iceman. That's for damn sure. <laughs> How is he going to fit in those speedos? <laughs> right? yeah. It definitely would be better than John Cena, right? Ooh. Yeah. So, yeah. Alonzo, Alonzo, um, so for the viewers, man, what books should we get for Champions? Like, what books should we look out for? Um, wow. So, for Champions, I would definitely look at the variants for number one. So, I would look to see if you can get the Alex Ross cover because uh, that one looks amazing. There's also a 1 in 1,000. Now, that one's a tough to get one, and that one is like the Deadpool cover. Um, it's either 1 in 1,000 or 1 in 100. Uh, that's another one to kind of get if you're lucky to find it. Um, I've seen some on eBay, and they're about about $1,000 in CGC 9.8. Hmm. Uh, another one I would try to get is the, the Steams, the Steam copies. They're really, really inexpensive right now. Um, I think that's uh, number two for for champions. And there's one of them is a Riri, right? Yep. And there's also a Riri one too that I would look um, to see about picking up as well. And just like the ones that, that Ian picked up, those ones are fantastic. Uh, again, that's the Amadeus Cho choosing a different name, and uh, you get uh, Riri uh, as Ironheart. And again, I believe she joins the team at that point. So I mean, those are the ones I would look at. The limited incent, limited variants or something that's incentive, but definitely the Alex Ross and the Deadpool. Mm-hmm. Those are dollar bins, man. I found those in dollar bins. I found a, like a bunch of the uh, champions. <laughs> You're so lucky. But this is a so dollar lucky. bin everybody goes through, right? Nick, am I lying? Like no, everybody's no, not lying. I, I'm I'm very jealous of that pool. Yeah. That, that's that's a twenty dollar book and a seventy dollar book you found in a dollar bin. That a dollar bin. I'm serious, man. Everybody really goes through these dollar bins. Car. I'm not the only yeah. one in San Diego. Like. Those hands are full of San Diego COVID, bro. Like, <laughs> um, I know Rob digs in them. I know Nick digs in them when he can. You know, like, it's just a place to go when you want to, like, just get away and, like, uh, get in comic dharma, you know? So, um, and look who we got back, man. What's up, Rob? Speak of the devil. <laughs> Where'd you go, bro? Fucking router just dropped, dude. It happens, man. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, he pulled a Houdini and was just like, poof. In all honesty, in all of our, in all of our shows, it's the first time anyone's dropped like that. So that's pretty damn good. Yeah. yeah. Mark that down. Pros, this is a variant, guys. So <laughs> in, issue, in episode 100, we're going to have trivia, and that's going to be one of the trivia questions. Who is the first person to get booted off the off the show? <laughs> What happened? <laughs> uh, we, right. We're talking about champions and then how, like, how you know, you're going to have Riri, you're going to have um, Miles Morales, <laughs> Kamala Khan's already here. Did you guys mention you there's, a second, there's a second run of champions, right? This is the issue number one. For the yeah, one. that's a nice cover, too. That's a nice cover, yeah. Those we're Stan Lee ones, though, right? Those Stan Lee dedicated covers are kind of like, I don't know, what do you guys think about those? You guys think those are worth getting? One? Uh,. Depends, you like the hip hop variants, like someday, like pop. I don't know. Yeah. The only, the only the Stan Lee one of recent time I want is that one from the funeral. That's the only one I want. I want to ask uh, Alonzo, what does he think about the West Coast Avengers? Um. So, I kind Learned of like it if hey, if, if um what Disney Plus does or what Faggy does is once Kate. Bishop gets introduced in Hawkeye, then they split off and she does her own thing, and then she moves down to California and Venice and does the yeah. West Coast of Avengers. That'd be dope. So I, I think that would be a great spec um, for Give future old school. Because like it's 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 fantastic. I mean, I love how like Hawkeye and that Hawkeye series and uh, you know trains Kate, takes her under the wing, and then she kind of does her own thing and then she moves moves away. And then, be, then becomes the West Coast Avengers. Uh, so I think it's 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 a great team book. I think uh, yeah, it, it it can go there. It's it's definitely right for it. No, I, I thought that was an awesome casting by Disney. That's she's perfect. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. she is it's perfect. Yeah. Perfect pick, man. Yeah. Uh, I'll take the the other West Coast Avengers. Give With, me that uh, one. Wonder Man. <laughs> yep. Hey, we uh, might get a Wonder Man soon, and it might be a. The guy plays uh, Nathan Malcolm Fillion. Reynolds. Yeah, Fillion. We 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 kind of did. He was up yeah. on a poster. Yep. Mm. In the background. So I would love to see like a West Coast Avengers with Nathan Fillion leading the show. So I also yeah. hear a lot of spec about this possibly being the Avengers team for the future. Ultimates? Yeah, yes. the Blue Marvel, America yep. Chavez, Captain Marvel. The uh, Fuji's yep. hip-hop cover. Is it Fuji's? For that so, one, yep. yeah, yep. that's Ultimates. Yeah, it is. Yep. And then, oh, it just, is, huh? Yeah. Yep. And yeah. Just, so, just so you know, too, like news has broken uh, for casting. Um, they're looking at a Latin American uh, girl between, I think, in her preteens or teens, uh, to play Boy, America Chavez in uh, the next Doctor Strange movie. Dude, I think I screwed up, man. My one in fifty is gone, bro. <laughs> but, but you know what though if you if you can find and go to your honey hole if you can find vengeance number one uh, that's Magneto first america chavez cover. i actually i bought that one uh nick you have it do you, do you have it nick i don't even know uh, you know where my books you, are now yeah i don't I, think you I, I, I bought it for premium yet. though i bought it for like 40 bucks so. it, it doesn't matter that's right now good. you can that's probably good price. sell that thing for double really like i just price. took a look at it because yeah. the news there was news about it today do you? I think you got a nick, right? Like you got a, you got a ton on my books, bro. Like I don't even know I where. Do. I do. I do got a ton, but I don't think I have that one. They're like the Infinity Stones right now, brother. There's like an everywhere. Like <laughs> Nick has got a lot of there. both of your books and my books right now. Right. I do. But yeah, yeah if, if if you can find stop Vengeance stop number one, it, stop hogging them, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I would definitely definitely get it if you can. I mean, my God. Well, you know what I'm looking I forward have... to is like when after we get all our books back that Nick press and that's all, all doing a CGC unboxing. Cause we have like freaking fire bro. Like coming back from CGC. dude. I, and I, crazy. Cracked, really different. I cracked GR slab today. One right, of my dude. slabs. Yeah. One of, one of his, uh, his venom seven slab today. You better get yeah, in there. I, Rob, man. I felt, have, I felt so bad. Thing. I was like, this is a brand new slab. <laughs> oh, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, but it's going to get a, a pretty uh, Clinton Crane signature on it. Yeah. It'll be all uh, redone. You're doing the rainbow, right? Oh, yeah. The Infinity, yep. The and then I'll be up Infinity. on my site for a sale. Yeah, you I, have your own site? Yeah, it's called Instagram. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Instagram cell cl- that's an Instagram cell page, man. That's that's you the see one. the that new uh, option on Instagram Reels? Huh? No. The, the the new option they call Reels and it's basically TikTok. What? Oh jeez. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was this morning. Yeah, that was this yeah. morning, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I I posted something yesterday with Reels and it's 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 TikTok on Instagram basically. Hmm. I think I saw that. Crazy. Um, and then kind of also to kind of again because you're kind of kind of talking about it is, and uh, you know, kind of Rob brought it up, but the Matt Fraction Hawkeye is the one that you guys should also be looking at too because they said that um, the Disney Plus series is going to talk is basically going to be that book or that series. Hmm. So if you can find I- it. I would definitely get it. I want to know who they're going to cast as Arrow. That's what I want to know. Who are they going to cast as Arrow? Is it going to be Rin Tin Tin? (laughs) Arrow's the dog, in case anyone didn't know. But but the dog makes his first appearance, I think, in like issue number 10 or something like that. I thought he was around in issue one, wasn't he? Was he? I got to go back. I don't think so. I love that David had art, though. He was in Civil War. Yeah. That stuff is awesome. That art. And then I think also, too, since Haley Steinfeld, again, Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, in that particular Matt Fraction run, um, there's one of her on the cover that says, I heart Hawkeye. That is also another book to get. Uh, yeah, the purple again, one, right? Because it's, and they also have a second print, and that yeah, second print, print is fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hip hop variants, too. Yep. Those are good, too. Ooh, uh, I, I think I passed that one up the other day. I think Arrow's going to be played by Stephen Amell. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> played by Stephen Amell. You know what? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. That would be funny. I just want them to do that whole, that one issue that was like a silent issue. And I want it where it was all featuring just the dog. We just need to have that issue. That it needs to be one episode. You know what, though? And they said the dog's going to be in the show. That's yeah. good. You got to have him. I'm a I cat person, and I still love that dog. I mean, that that Matt Fraction run is the one to get. I kind of worry if Renner can pull that off, man, because, like, Hawkeye is so charismatic in those in, in that series. You know, he's, like, the older brother, the older uncle that you love, but, you know, he's always there for you. And Renner just, I don't know if he can, you know? Yeah, I, I don't think he can. Like, But, you know what, because, yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I seen I, him I don't in know. You're right. Tag, remember Tag? He was kind of that guy. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, good in Tag, Tag. Like he was like he was also very very serious. You know, he, like he's not a fun guy. Like, you know what I mean? No. Yeah, like I felt like Hawkeye. Fraction wrote Hawkeye very quippy, very like sarcastic. You know. Yeah, my yeah. my buddy went to high school with him, man, at Bayer High School in Modesto, man. I'm kind of rooting for him, bro. Come on, Renner. Represent no, I, California. I'm, he I looks like Hawkeye. I haven't seen it. And so I agree yeah. with Nick. I just haven't seen it. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us for our uh, our mail call session. We really appreciate it. Um, Jerry, you want to let everybody know where else they can find us? Uh, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook as Team Nerd Podcast or Team Nerd Herd Podcast. Um, we have a current poll up there. I think right now our big one is uh, who did it better between Ian and I? Um, go up there and put your votes in. <laughs> um, I think I'm winning right now, just because I'm a dragon. Oh, I'm gonna let you. We you don't win, bro. I'll take the it's, it, it, it's, it's it's whimsical. I say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, you can go there and talk smack to us. Uh, wait till you see our next what if. We'll have some good topics up there for you. Um, other than that, I think that's a about all we have over there anything else you want to say Ian no that's it and just uh, if you guys can all support us out there in YouTube land by hitting that like and especially that subscribe button you can also type 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 and leave uh, a comment in the comment sections helps us jump on that um, algorithm but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna let Rob send us out since uh, Rob sent himself out and came back so <laughs> yeah, walk right back in do it before his net crashes <laughs> well he has on drop right now if you want to do it right I like what you like. Nice. Are you ready to get 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 down? Oh.